everyone welcome to my channel and a late March 20th Wednesday March 20th breakfast just got back from the grocery store and uh, couldn't resist buying lottery tickets again both the Powerball and Mega Millions are way up there so um, the first time I bought 18 eggs. I don't usually buy 18 eggs. Someone suggested an obvious, except to me, technique is to mark off the items that you've already gone through. So, eggs. And right off the bat, number one, eggs is hard to find. Eggs, 18 eggs, 583. So 583. They're out of these, uh, they've been out for a while. I tried that whipped butter before. I don't like it. It's, it's difficult to use. You put these big holes in your toast as you're trying to use it. Unless you put it out beforehand and let it soften up. But, uh, I had this other one I bought. And I just realized it's olive oil and sea salt. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try that. That's, I bought that before this. I also bought some stuffed grape grape leaves the other day and then I said what am I going to have today? And then I realized I have uh, I still have a big bag of chili in the freezer. So I have to thaw that out. Must be some truck go. Uh, can't get by someone's parking or something. So yeah, I had the stuffed grape leaves, which I was snacking on. And I really like tabbouleh, so I bought this tabbouleh. And um, while I was at it, I bought some hummus. But the tabbouleh, I think that's like in the deli department. Tabbouleh, $4.49. that they use where to get the grain um, it's cracked weed or something like that Refrigerated section. Large. LOL. Land of Lakes. LOL. Soft to spread. 429. LOL. This pen's not writing on that paper material. And if I'm having my chili, I already went through. I think I've got a third of a strip of crackers left. I, I went through a whole box of crackers on the chili that I've eaten so far. I had one whole box of these filling up with chili um, crackers. Baked goods. The grocery. 
general merchandise. I actually went through the checkout, so if it's not on here, I, it wasn't my fault. Nabisco number one, three ninety one, or something happened with the printer. Three ninety nine. It's three ninety nine. They better start. They need to change the ink. Three ninety nine for the Nabisco original saltine crackers. And I'm sort of addicted to these for my for breakfast now. You know, it'd be greatest to get those uh, if you can buy those paper sleeves that they use. Does um, McDonald's still do that? I haven't had the breakfast for a while. I've had the big breakfast. But they put these like in a paper sleeve. Just part of the experience of having your hash brown in one hand and your sandwich in another. It's going to be refrigerated section, refrigerated section, and it is three seventy nine for Cav Cavendish. They also have a, pa a, a package that that big. Okay. Q-tips, not for the ears. Q-tips. General merchandise Q-tips. I was going to buy the generic, but three forty nine for the Q-tips. I think these were like two for six dollars, and I'm like, I don't need two. I just want one. But then I said, well... You probably can freeze it. So I'll freeze one. And what is the um, two? Joseph's roasted red pepper hummus. Seven dollars and one cents. Savings of 98 cents. and eleven cents or three dollars and three dollars and nineteen cents display top wheat bread store brand I just put it in the freezer take out two slices as I need it Yeah, I picked up bacon. 
and, and then as I went, went by the deli, I couldn't resist getting some Deutschmark bologna. One pound of Deutschmark bologna. Or $0.9.65. Here's the bacon. Just look for the most expensive item, $12.99. Sixteen ounces, one pound of Oscar Mayer original bacon. And here are paper towels that I was going to also use, and a technique for filtering out the wax. Sure. 
and spray that I usually bought, but I would always cut that with water. So I've just been drinking water, and I haven't had that ocean spray for over, over a month, I don't think. And I haven't had any heartburn. Table's not level. Speaking of, I turned it down because it was, you know, it's getting, the toast dries out in the winter time. You have to change the setting down. Lightly toasted, just like I like it. Sometimes I forget.
Okay, for the sake of time. Call it done. sun go. It was a nice sunny day a minute ago. It was actually warm. It was 47 in the shade, but it was 50. And I was warm with just a sweatshirt. I mean the, the hoodie. were going up, but my electric bill shot up to $200, and uh, why pay for grow lights when you have a window sill and a south-facing window? this year I um I left I still 
sleep with the fan on. So I've got a window fan. Not in the window, of course, but I turn it on. Before I go to bed. I, I can't go to bed. It's now too quiet. So I have to have the, the fan going. So that adds to the electric cost. But um, I have, I bought one of those white noise generators, but I've, I've yet to use it or take it out of the box. I'm not certain how, um, I'd have to, you know, actually see and use it. It would be a smart thing to do to see if it simu simu uh, sim simulates the noise from the fan that I'm used to. another place that I went to. Oh, it's been a while, over a year, maybe even two years. There's a Jamaican restaurant in, um, in Lynn. And I was thinking of going there. I really liked it. It was the first time that I had oxtail. That was so good. I don't know, it sort of creeped me out at first, but it's just, uh, what do they call those, like uh, soup bones or the bones with the, the meat on it. It must be something else. Uh, this is oxtail, but it was so good. started doing. Maybe there's some something that happens with the milk when you it doesn't curdle or something like that. It just I used to, I always put milk in my tea. I just recently stopped doing that. I used to always I used to always 
always find it so, uh, I don't know what the word is, it, um, when you're a kid, you know, intriguing or exciting, when you went to a Chinese restaurant, sat down, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a real restaurant used to have, not fast food, we have walk in and walk out with your food to eat at home, but sit down in a Chinese restaurant and they used to give you those big, thick, small um, tea cups. You know, no handles on them, but they were, they were thick. And they held, you know, a small amount of tea. And I just have the tea or put like seven seven packets of sugar in it or something when I was a kid I used to like to take you know back then parents didn't really regulate that I used to love to take uh, you know you'd have a water on the table and I'd just grab a whole bunch of packets of sugar open them up put them in the water stir it up and I'd have sugar water to that batter um, and um, had the Chinese food some leftovers yesterday finished off the second egg roll everyone for stopping by for my grocery haul and breakfast. Just get that out of the way for a second. And uh, I think there's still a lot of honey in those uh, wax cones. It's so cold, you know, it's 
I was thinking of taking a hair dryer to it, but I might just go ahead and render that without. I remember how we did it last time. I had two sieves. I had a sieve, a larger one, and a smaller a sieve to scoop out the uh, the dirt and the the cocoon, and then I'd put it in the big sieve, and then I had a a um, spatula, not a spatula, but a um, a spoon, plastic spoon for mixing batter, you know, and I'm squishing out the wax because what happens is the cocoon is like, um, it's absorbent, so it absorbs a lot of the wax. So a lot of the wax gets tied up in that, in those fibers. And it gets to the point where you get more effort, but you get less return, so it's not even worth the energy to try to retrieve the wax from that so you just get as much as you can out and uh, yeah I think I'll melt some more wax or render some more wax then I still have to figure out how I want to go about cleaning it so thanks for everyone for stopping by thank you for your comments and continued support thanks for using the Amazon affiliate link in the description to make any of your Amazon purchases. Thanks to all my pay PayPal contributors. Oh, looks like the sun may might be coming out again. So thanks again, everyone. Till next, next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.